The causes of oral and facial pain could be attributed to various conditions, but the most common is TMJ. We spoke with Dr. Ali Mackey of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach, who explains the conditions that can cause oral or facial pain. The head and neck complex is um, very um, varied in where you can get the pain sources. Uh, inflammation, infections, um, and several other types of neuropathic pains. These are nerve pain conditions, um, and temporomandibular joint conditions can cause facial pain. We asked Dr. Mackey, what is TMJ dysfunction? It refers to the name of a joint that attaches um, the jaw to the skull base. And um, unfortunately, it's commonly used as a name of a disease. Um, it really relates to the name, the anatomical name of the joint. And um, it is not a specific disorder. There are several disorders that relate to the displacement of the disc in the joint uh, that can cause pains and uh, limited function. In the mouth, if patients have had um, certain oral treatments, dental treatments, oral surgery, um, like root canals, for example, and they continue to have pain in the absence of any dental disease, they need to come have that evaluated. Those can be possibly neuropathic pains. These are pains that um, happen because of changes um, in the brain processing of pain signals, and they will continue until addressed. Dr. Mackey discusses the comprehensive care at Hoag's Neurosciences Institute that's offered to patients who need treatment for oral and facial pain. Treatments offered can range anywhere from simple physical therapy, home exercises, or as complex as neurosurgery, depending on the source of the pain. If we're dealing with neuropathic pains, for example, um, one type of pain that uh, occurs in people usually about maybe 45 and over, although there are rare cases of younger patients getting it, is trigeminal neuralgia. And um, that can be addressed pharmacologically uh, by taking medications, and sometimes uh, we do have them evaluated for neurosurgical type of uh, interventions. As with any type of pain, patients should seek um, help when the pain seems to be longer than it should last and um, if it's anything that has any focal neurological type of uh, symptoms, any weakness, any changes in vision, um, or symptoms that are unusual. Anything that lasts more than several weeks and uh, is not getting better should be uh, addressed to a physician. I, I would like to really tell patients not to take any pain for granted. The head and neck is probably the most complex region and we can have um, pains that simply um, present as something that's a nuisance, but it can be something serious. You really need to have it evaluated even like after a short period if it doesn't resolve within maybe a week or two. I highly advise to get consultation on uh, these pain conditions. Talk to your physician or whoever you see first 